Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor, on a mission to become the world's greatest tutor. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the inverse trig functions, also known as arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent. Which, fun fact, they can also be written like this, although this form is very uncommon. You're much more likely to see the negative one power, which means inverse, so another name for these is inverse sine, inverse cosine, inverse tangent. And the main question we have to answer today is how and when do we use the inverse trig functions? So simply put, you use inverse trig when you are looking for the angle of a right triangle. And so it will usually look something like this. I have a right triangle. Let's just say this side is three and this side is four. And here is my angle theta which theta, if you don't know, is a Greek letter. It just means some variable, just like x. And if I want to solve for theta, my angle, I would use sine here, because Sokotoa tells me that sine of the angle is equal to opposite, which is 3, over the hypotenuse, which is 4. And the missing side here is adjacent. We don't need it, I'm just saying, as a fun fact. So then if I want to solve for theta, I need to get theta, my variable, by itself. And the way we do that is by taking the arc sine of both sides, or inverse sine, same thing. That cancels out the sine on the left, and on the right, I would write inverse sine of 3 over 4. And then I would plug this in my calculator. Now just so you know, it's a good idea to make sure your calculator's in degrees here. To do that, if you have a TI-84, you hit the mode button, go down to the third option. We want it to say degree, not radian. So, inverse sine, which for the TI-84 is second sine, and then 3 divided by 4, and we will get theta equals 48.6, and that's degrees, because we just found an angle. And that's basically all we're going to be doing today, so let's do a couple example problems to make sure we get it. So for the first one, I have a right triangle. I'm going to give you this side length, which is 8, and this side length, which is 12, and I want you to solve for theta, the angle. Go ahead, pause the video, see if you can solve this on your own, and when you're ready to see the solution, unpause. Okay, here's the solution. So first, I would say that we have the opposite leg and the adjacent leg, which means that tangent would be the best option here. So tangent theta equals opposite, which is eight, over adjacent, which is 12. You can reduce this if you want, it is two thirds, but that's optional, you don't have to do it. So then I just take the inverse tangent or arc tangent of both sides. When we do that, it cancels the tangent on the left, and I just have to write tangent inverse of eight over 12 or two thirds. Plug that in our calculator, and we will get theta equals 33.7 degrees. And there we go, easy as that. Now we'll just do one last example, and we'll call it a day. For this one, I'm putting my angle over here. I'm gonna say this leg is two and this leg is four. So once again, pause the video, see if you can solve it on your own, and when you're ready to see the solution, unpause. Okay, so first of all, I would say we have the opposite leg, which is the two, and we have the hypotenuse, which means again, we are going to be using sine theta, because that's the opposite over the hypotenuse, and then from here, I just have to take inverse sine of both sides, like this, and plug this in our calculator, and we will get exactly 30 degrees, and there we go. So one more time, as a quick reminder, when I am solving for the angle, I am going to be using inverse sine, inverse cosine, inverse tangent. If I wanna solve for a side length, like let's say this missing side length right here, I would be using normal sine, cosine tangent. So that's everything I have to say for today. Thank you all for watching. My name is Dan the Tutor, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.